So I got this package from OWC. Uh, got the wireless card with the new Bluetooth. You can see it here. They give you this little extension that goes in. And then I ordered mine with the extension cable, uh, Bluetooth extension cable. So you can see it plugged in right here. I ran the wire uh, back this way uh, and connected in here. And then this is the Bluetooth cable uh, that come from, uh, you know, with the, with the Mac Pro. So I have the I have the four one. I flashed it up to a five one dual processor, uh, basically the same. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I took the processor chassis out. Uh, you can see that here. Um, you know, took it out. I, the The reason I took it out is I wanted to you know one just to film this in a, in a little bit more clear. And you know, it would have just been nice if somebody told me how to do it from the very beginning. Um, this whole you know, this is read upside down. They don't give you the pinouts for these right here and tell you which one should be what. Um, underneath this unit, you know, there's two uh, two screws in the original piece because uh, this one includes the Bluetooth. Uh, the factory Bluetooth module is here. They don't tell you how to connect this cable here or which way to put this cable here. You know, as if none of this kind of stuff matters, and actually it does. So there's three wireless pieces and then one Bluetooth piece. Um, you can see, yeah, I don't know. Let me see if I can get a better view real quick. So right here, uh, you can see this is the Bluetooth wire that I have running back, right? So you can see that one. Um, I have, this is a wireless, this is a wireless, and this is a wireless. Now these are all labeled, um, you know, one, two, three underneath here. So underneath my, um, underneath my original factory Bluetooth piece, uh, number three wire uh, was stuck under there with this red tape. So you can see I just repurposed the red tape after I ran the wire. This will go under the processor tray, right? This one should be number two. You can see these all run a little bit different. Uh, you know, in, inside here. So they're a little bit twisted. So don't pay attention to this right here. Uh, you can disconnect this if you want to, but I found it just easier to, uh, you know, to rock these on top of there. And what I mean by rock is you can't just push them straight down and snap them in. It doesn't, you know, I just kind of, I had to rock them over and, and uh, you know, kind of put them in at an angle and then they just snapped on really easy. Um, you know, otherwise if, uh, when I try to force it on there, it just wasn't happening. But you can see this one right here, uh, this is number three. Uh, this right here is number three. This one right here is number one, right? This is the Bluetooth, obviously. And this is number two. That's actually upside down on these right here. So if you follow this cable in, you know, it goes to number three right here. So it's, you know, it, it, it kind of corresponds. It's fine. But, you know, the way they give you, they don't actually give you the instructions and tell you what to connect where. And some of the videos that I saw out there, um, you know, this particular module it had these connections on top right here where these are not on top, they're on the bottom. So everything was upside down. So anyway, you know, just do it this way, right? This is number three, right? Uh, this is number one, this is the Bluetooth, and uh, this will be number two. And they're all labeled like, like this from Mac, right? So you can see the label right there, number three. And then this will have a label number two. Now these cables, uh, these cables are right here. They come around this screw, right? And they come up and they're underneath this uh, cable lock right here. So, or whatever, cable guide or whatever you want to call it. Uh, all I did was just take the cables out, uh, push them underneath here for, you know, just for, to keep them clean. And then uh, connected them up, connected up this extension right here. Push the extension up underneath there. It's not going to hurt anything, you know, be sitting there. Uh, and then I ran the cables here. So let me try to move a little bit. So you take this connection, right? If you if you follow it along, right, you'll see it there. This piece here is actually plugged in right here into the old Bluetooth module. And then here is the Bluetooth module antenna. So you can see I got the extension cable and right here is where I plugged in the antenna. They don't show you that either, right? So I plugged in the antenna here and that goes on, you know, follows along the, the factory antenna right there. So, you know, right there through the cable tie. Anyway, you take the connection 
from here and you plug it into here just like that and you're basically done so you should be upgraded to the new wireless uh, and Bluetooth 4.0 or 5, whatever module that you decided to buy. It doesn't matter if you get it from OWC. It doesn't matter if you get it from, you know, where you get it from. You know, I've tried, so far, this is the second one that I've tried. Um, and this one, I just happened to get it from OWC. Uh, the, the other vendor that I used was out. Um, and I, I wanted to get this up and going before, uh, you know, for a friend for a holiday. Um, but anyway, you know, th this is... Um, uh, this one will work just fine but i did test it and everything worked fine but you know i thought man i'm gonna make this video uh try and help some folks out uh, hopefully this helps you if it does great you know if it doesn't uh, leave me a comment and let me know what i did wrong for those who have never pulled out this tray before a couple of things you have to do uh, first you have to pull out this drive um, because you have to pull out the fan that goes here right this fan and the only way to do that is when it comes out of the slots right here, right? When it comes out of the slots, you have to be able to move it forward to be able to pull it out, right? So that, pull out that drive, pull out this fan. Then you have, um, right here, you have six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, no, I'm not trying to teach how to count. Um, but you have six screws. And then you have five of these right here that you have to pull out with an Allen wrench. I'm not sure of the Allen wrench size, but uh, I'll try to post that later. But uh, anyway, you can see it. It's, there's the first one, you know, and then the, the other one. So a couple of gotchas, right? Um, you know, don't make the mistake I made, you know, a couple of times already you know, uh, in the past. Uh, right here, and I'll show you. There's two connections on the left side, right? You can see these two. There's two connections, one here and one here. They're not super delicate. You can just use your fingernails, you know, just slide them out. You know, they just pop right out. However, you got to get those out. And here's the other one, right, right here. So these are your fan connections. Uh, and I believe this one here is a sensor. You know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there. I, I, you know, I don't know, but I believe this one is a sensor. Um, and this is a fan and this is a fan uh, right here. So... When you pull this whole unit out, you'll be able to unscrew everything, take everything apart, and then um, disconnect these three connections, and then it still won't come out, and I'll tell you why. So right here, uh, you have to pop this loose, right? You can see the slot that it locks into right there. Uh, you can see that slot. So you need to pull the fan a little bit forward because they actually get stuck. So the fans will get stuck right here. They're, uh, they push past this, you know, inside the case a little bit. So what I did is I pulled it forward right here, just barely lifted it up, right? Just barely lifted it up. And when I did, uh, I took a screwdriver and I pushed the fan forward. Now, you know, that may not be the right way to do it, but you know, it works for me. Uh, doesn't mean it'll work for you. All I did was move it forward just a little bit. Now, the, it'll it'll come out at an angle, right? It won't look, you know, this far out. Uh, the reason it's this far out now is because when I had the processor tray out, uh, what I did is I pushed, or excuse me, a fan tray, whatever, the casing, I don't know what this is called. Uh, but when, it, uh, when I had this out, I just pushed it forward a little bit more. There's a tab just like this one. Uh, there's a tab right down in here. Uh, you know, right back in this way. So all I did was lift that up and then push it forward so I can just drop it down in. Now, you know, I've done this a couple times. So the easiest way uh, for me is to lock this screw, lock this screw, and then put this one in. And then the rest of these will, you know, you could just rock and it'll come back into place much easier. Uh, you know, if, if that's not the right way, you know, I, I don't want to teach you anything bad, but uh, if that's not the right way, just let me know in the comments. But it seems to work for me. Uh, it doesn't mean it'll work for everybody, but, you know, I figured I would just show you what I did. Uh, so good luck to you, man. All right, I wanted to show you just this one last piece. So what I did is I pushed this fan into place. I'll push this one into place. Uh, you know, I don't want to leave you out there like that. So just push it into place. It's really easy. See how I mean? Just pushed it right back into place. Uh, very simple. It locks there. It's locked in the bottom. Um, you can't see it, of course, but... Uh, you know, like I said, just pull it out. All I, it, this right here will prevent it, you know, from coming out. You actually have to pull it this way and then lift it out uh, when, when it's out of the system. But either way, like I said, just pull it out, make it match, you know, these edges right here. 
uh, on both sides and it'll slide down in super easy, slide back out super easy, you know, however you need that to work, but uh, you know, for, for you, but anyway, like I said, I, I just wanted to show you what I did. Okay, so I started putting this back together, almost finished, and I realized I didn't actually show you guys this cable right here. Uh, this cable does matter how you put it in, okay? Uh, let me see if I can zoom in real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and disconnected it um, so I can show you. Uh, sorry for the crap, I gotta hold my phone here. All right, you see these, um, these little indentations in the plastic right here? Face those up and connect into this guy just like this. So it, could, it should go just like that into the connection. Uh, if you connect it the other way, so if you connect it like this, it won't work. You know, your Bluetooth won't work. So even though you can, you can connect it that way and it'll, you know, it'll connect just fine. It just won't work. So connect it in just like this uh, and everything will work just fine. Okay? Just thought I'd let you know.